Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Thiessen and I'm your Gel Moment Independent Distributor. Today we're going to look at how to apply your Gel Moment Gel Polish for long-lasting manicures regardless of if you have dry or oily nails. These are my very dry nails in their natural state and so we're going to look at today the differences between the application for dry and oily nails. Nails can be dry, oily, or combination, just like our skin and hair, and knowing what type of nails you have is really important to the longevity of your manicure. If you have dry nails, they will appear dull and have very little shine. They will crack, peel, and chip easily. They are often accompanied by dry cuticles and hangnails, and your polish will stick really well and can be difficult to remove. If you have oily nails, you'll notice that they have a shiny appearance. They will typically grow really well and often very quickly. You'll probably infrequently get hangnails and your cuticles will stay nice and clean with minimal cleanup. And the polish probably won't last very long and often it can peel off in one piece. And combination nails can have both aspects of dry and oily nails. And knowing what type of nails and what type of aspects of each nail type you have can help you achieve long-lasting manicures with your gel polish. So here are a few tips for applying the polish to both dry and oily nails. Dry nails are the perfect base for the polish to adhere to. However, if your nails are overly dry, it can make removal of the polish more difficult because the polish has adhered so well to your dry nails and gotten into those small cracks and crevices that are in your dry nail plate. So to prevent that from happening and to make removal easier with dry nails, you want to apply one of Gel Moment's nail and cuticle oils about 30 to 60 minutes before you start your application process. Allowing the oil time to soak into your nail plate creates the perfect hydrated and healthy base for your polish to adhere to. Hydrating your nails and cuticles beforehand can also make cleaning up your cuticles during your application process easier. Make sure to follow all the recommended application steps, including gently buffing your nails and cleansing each nail with the cleansing pad. Cleansing your nails before application is a very important step. However, because we've oiled our nails beforehand, we need to make sure that we take extra care to clean around the sidewalls, along the cuticle line, and underneath the nail so that we get any extra oil that may be left behind. Oil remaining on the nail can cause the polish not to adhere properly to the nail plate. It can also cause problems with application that are more commonly seen in ladies with oily nails. If you use this dry nail tip and you experience any premature chipping or receding of the polish during application, wash your hands with a degreasing dish soap before beginning application as there may be too much oil remaining on your nails. Oily nails have the opposite problem as dry nails. You can see how shiny I've made my nails by applying some oil to mimic what oily nails look like since my nails are so dry. With oily nails, the polish doesn't stick well and often peels off quickly, so we need to remove as much of the oil off of the nail as we can before we begin application. So before starting your application process, wash your hands quickly with a degreasing dish soap to help remove that oil buildup off of your nails. Begin by following all the recommended application steps, starting with cleaning up your cuticles, then buffing, and then cleansing. When we get to the cleansing stage, that's where we need to do a little bit more work to make sure that the nail plate is ready and clean and free of extra oil buildup so that the polish can adhere properly to the nail plate. At this cleansing stage, we have two options. We have an option for extremely oily nails and we have an option for moderately oily nails. For the moderately oily nails, you wanna take your cleanser pad like you normally would and clean your nails, taking special care to clean under the tips of the nails well, along the sidewalls and along the cuticle line. Allow the alcohol to dry and then cleanse again. You can use a new cleanser pad or the cleanser pad that you were originally using if it is still wet enough to use again. After cleansing a second time, you can allow the alcohol to dry and then apply your polish like you normally would. 
However, if you have extremely oily nails, you can use a gel moment remover pad to cleanse the nail instead of the cleanser. The acetone in the remover pad will help dry out the nail plate a little bit more and will help remove a little bit more of those oils off of the nail plate so that the polish can adhere properly. Polish receding from the tip of the nail can be caused by overly oily nails or overly hot hands. When the polish recedes, it prevents the polish from capping the nail properly and can cause the cap to not seal the nail in completely. As you can see here, the polish is pulling away from the sidewalls and the cuticle line. So when the polish meets the oil, it ends up pulling back and away from it, very similar to how water and oil mix. If you have dry nails and you're experiencing the polish receding, it's possible that you may not have cleansed your nail well enough. Remove the polish and cleanse again with the cleanser pad. Or you may have hands that are too hot. Warm hands can cause the polish to recede as well. So try holding your hand on an ice pack while you're applying your polish. With our black polish Raven's Kiss, you can see how the polish has pulled away from the end of the nail. This reseeding will cause there to be no cap on the edge of the nail, which will cause the polish to chip really easily. You can see the color of the nail coming through as the polish recedes off of the end. With oily and combination nails, it's really important to make sure that you are drying out the nail plate as best you can by cleansing it before application to make sure that the polish can adhere properly to the nail. If the nail is too oily, the polish won't adhere, it won't stick, and the polish will just peel or chip off. If you're cleaning it really well and you do still find that the polish is receding, you can use this trick to help the polish stay in place and stop receding from the end of the nail. Begin by painting your first nail. Make sure to apply a clean manicure and cap the nail well, making sure to not get too much polish underneath the nail. If you do, simply take your cuticle pusher and clean it up before you cure. Before moving on to your next nail, we're going to flash cure this nail for five seconds to solidify the polish enough so that it prevents it from receding off the tip of the nail. This will allow your cap to stay intact, which will prevent any chipping or peeling from the end of the nail. The flash cure solidifies the polish just enough to prevent it from pulling back along the nail, which allows the cap to stay intact. This allows you to paint the rest of your nails and keeps the cap from receding while you're doing that. Then move on to your next nail and do the same thing, flash curing as you go. Once you get to your last nail, you want to make sure that you do a full cure on all your nails before moving on to your next coat. I hope you found this video helpful in determining what type of nails you have, as well as which application steps to follow for long lasting, beautiful manicures. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks so much for watching.